Hello, welcome back to my channel. My dad, Tucker, and I took a little road trip to my aunt's and uncle's log cabin in Virginia. We're going to give my aunt's home office a huge makeover. I've been working with her to design the space for a while now, so we're both very excited to bring the design to life. This is a pretty big undertaking, so I'm going to break this project down into three videos. In this first video, I'll give you guys a tour of what the office looks like before. I'll share our design plan for the office, and then we are going to start demo on the fire place and build some huge bookshelves. My aunt is an extremely hard worker. She was also in the army, which is one of the things that inspired me to join. I've looked up to her since I was a little girl. So it's really cool to be here and to get back and help her finish off this space that she spends so much time in. She runs an online shop called Red Dog Decor and she sells the cutest dog themed apparel, um, accessories, decor. This is one of the shirts from her shop. We are very much dog people over here. I have chili and Tucker in the back. So I'll link her shop in the description below in case you're interested. We have a lot of project to get to in not a lot of time, so we're gonna jump right into it. But before we do that, I have to show you guys the view here because it is seriously breathtaking. Come here. Come here. Can't get him to do anything. Stand on the shoulders of giants, make myself a line to make the people defiant. That's the way the world came. Back with rebels and heretics, it's all the same. So you can keep on running your charade, but I keep on running and gunning in my parade. It doesn't have to make you feel good, it just doesn't have to wreck everyone else's mood. Cause I had things to do. Now that you've seen the unique space that we're working with, I'll go over our plan for the office. So we're going to build two huge bookshelves that go floor to ceiling and add some nice sconces at the top. Then we'll frame the fireplace out a foot so that it sits even with the bookshelves. We'll install some stacked stone, paint the bookshelves a darker blue-green color. We're going to stain the trim darker around the windows as well as the ceiling. We'll paint the plain walls the same color as the bookshelves and leave the logs alone then hopefully we can replace the French doors as long as we get new ones here in time. My aunt wants this space to feel more like a cozy library rather than an office, and I think we accomplished that in the design pretty well. First things first, we have to get everything out of the office. When I'm ready, I'll attack the words, give it everything I've got. But what's left is fool's gold, there's more that it's not. It ain't nothing but a pretty color, and even I could be full. It came out as a caterpillar, went in as a rock of now we're working on the fireplace demo, so we're taking off the existing fireplace frame and mantle. It doesn't matter now. Removing the tile on the hearth so that our framing for the fireplace can sit right on the framing for the hearth. We took out a section of the drywall around the fireplace so that we could get to all the electric and gas hookups. Now we're going to start working on the bookshelves. So we got all the lumber at Lowe's. We're making the bookshelves out of three quarter inch birch plywood. We're using a full four by eight sheet of plywood for the back of the bookshelves. And then we had Lowe's cut the rest of the plywood down to size. They were super helpful with that. I'll break down the lumber list and dimensions in a blog post and you can find that link in the description below. We started by sanding all of the plywood down with 120 grit sandpaper. Time 
Now we're going to attach the side supports to the back 4x8 panel. To do this, we used a Craig jig and pocket screws. I've had some issues in the past with the screws popping out the other end, so I practiced a few times on a scrap piece to get my Craig jig adjustments just right. If you don't own a Craig jig, I highly recommend buying one. I use it for so many of my projects. I'll link this tool and some of my other favorite tools that I'm using in the description below. I drilled the pocket holes and screwed in the one and a quarter inch pocket screws while my dad held the large panel upright. Now that the side supports are attached, I'm going to attach the top and bottom piece with pocket screws. After the top and bottom supports were attached, we added a middle support with pocket screws. We cut one side of the shelves down to size and I used one of the shelves as a guide to screw in the middle support. While my dad worked on cutting the rest of the shelves down to size, I prepped all of the shelves with pocket holes. I added two pocket holes to the left and right side and then three pocket holes along the back. For the shelf spacing, my aunt wanted one taller shelf on the bottom to fit larger books and then the rest of the shelves equally spaced out above that. I measured and marked out all the shelves and then made a line with a small carpenter square so that I have a level line to guide where I screw the shelves in. Then I took some one and a quarter inch pocket screws to secure the shelves. If you're making a bookshelf like this one with even shelves, make sure that your pocket screws are staggered so that they don't hit each other when you're attaching them to the middle support. with you to Georgia Have you ever been in love I dove in from high above and if the answer's no well then I'd like to get to know ya Now, as you can see, these don't go all the way to the ceiling, and that's the look that we're going for. So we're going to build a tall base for the bookshelves to sit on, and then the remaining space to the ceiling will finish off with trim. 
I used wood plugs to fill the pocket holes. I just added a bit of wood glue and then tapped the plugs into place. Now these do stick out a bit, so we ended up taking a multi-tool to trim the wood plugs flush once they were all set and dry. We got a brand new night And good love will soon arrive And when it does then come a little closer Have you ever seen the stars Burn out into the dark And as they go say It was nice to know ya my aunt and uncle hired an electrician to help us out with some of the electrical work. They helped us rough in electrical for the sconces as well as outlets and switches for the bookshelves. Before we can install the bookshelves, we need to notch out the hearth a bit. Here I'm assembling the base for the bookshelves. We used 2x12s for the base, cut them the same size as the bottom of the bookshelf, and then screwed them together. I heard lovin's on the way, but I could use it right now, cause I heard lovin's on the way, but I could use it right now, cause I heard lovin's on the way. My uncle and dad helped to lift the bookshelves on the base and then I secured the bookshelf to the base with screws. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you. First, I used a large drill bit and drilled a small hole so that I could countersink my screws beneath the surface. And then I'll fill the holes with wood filler for a nice professional look. Stand on the shoulders of giants, make myself a line to make the people defiant. That's the way the world came. Back with rebels and heretics, it's all the same. So you can keep on running your charade, but I keep on running and gunning in my parade. Doesn't have to make you feel good, just doesn't have to wreck everyone else. Now we need to cut holes for the outlets. We measured where the outlet was on the wall and then transferred that measurement to the bookshelf. Doesn't now if I'm having fun. Trees don't lie. Drilled a hole in each corner and then cut out the rectangle for the outlet using a jigsaw. I'll attack the words, give it everything I've got. But what's left is fool's gold, there's more that it's not. It ain't nothing but a pretty color, and even that could be full of came out at Now we're measuring where the studs are on the wall and then transferring that measurement to the bookshelves so that we can screw the bookshelves into studs in the wall once they're in place. It doesn't matter now. Once the shelves were in place, we used a six foot level and some shims to make it nice and level. Once 
Once again, I'm pre-drilling some holes so that I can countersink the screws into the bookshelf and then into the studs in the wall so that the bookshelf is nice and secure. I'm reattaching the outlets and the bookshelves and that's about it for part one. In part two, we will be framing out the fireplace, adding trim to the bookshelves, installing stacked stone to the fireplace, painting, and adding a few more small touches. So stay tuned for the next video and thank you so much for watching. Stretching my field of view, what's hard is when they mean nothing. Something I already